Are you aware of the advantages and disadvantages of conformity and obedience? Obedience and stress are perhaps best illustrated in the Stanley Milligram experiment of submission and obedience to authority. Conformity and obedience are natural and necessary in any society. This is how cultures perpetuate their values and traditions. However, obedience can promote stress on the part of all concerned. Here is a simple example. The parent requests or demands that the teenager make the bed before going to school. The youngster obeys. We would refer to this as level C, cooperation or conformity on the hierarchy of social development. In a similar scenario, where a teenager's room is also quite unorganized, making the bed before leaving for school is expected. So the youngster makes the bed without being told. We would refer to this as level D, democracy, taking the initiative on the hierarchy of social development. Notice that the behavior is identical and that the bed has been made in both scenarios, but the motivation was different. In the first scenario, obedience was the motivation and the adult experienced some aggravation or stress because this was not the first time that the teenager had to be told what to do. And certainly, like everyone else, teenagers do not like to be told. In the second scenario, taking responsibility is the motivation. In order to live in a civilized society, conformity to values and mores are essential. However, democracy, the highest level on the hierarchy of social development, requires responsible behavior more than conformity. In simple terms, the motivation to be responsible comes from internal motivation rather than being told, which relies on external motivation. So here is a tip. Aim at promoting responsibility and you will get obedience as a natural byproduct. This can be accomplished by referring to the hierarchy of social development. Check out more information about reducing stress at withoutstress.com. Thanks for watching, sharing, and have a stress-free week.